Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here, and with over a thousand videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you may not have seen it anywhere. What I'm going to be showing you in this video is the overview and benchmarks for the MSI Z87i Gaming AC motherboard. It is a mini ITX form factor motherboard meant for use in like a Steam OS type machine or uh, for HTPC use or gaming on the biggest screen in your house so you can have a small form factor system right next to your TV. So let's take a closer look at the motherboard itself and then we'll show you the benchmarks for it. So here we have a closer look at the Z87i Gaming AC motherboard from MSI. One of the first things that I noticed about the board was the red and black theme and that they have a nice aluminum heat sink over the chipset as well as the solid capacitors on here for the power VRM. You've got a heat pipe that goes in between them to help keep everything nice and cool. Your LGA 1150 socket, a 24 pin ATX power connector, a 8 pin CPU power connector, 5 SATA 6 ports which are actually flip flopped so you can easily get to the locking connectors that are typically used your USB header and front panel header as well as a system speaker header over here two 4 pin PWM connectors one for your CPU and one for your system fan and a USB 3 header which has support for two USB 3.0 ports in the mini PCI Express slot here you have an included Intel dual band wireless AC 7260 um, gra um, wireless card which gives you AC wireless performance on on the 5 gigahertz band up to 867 megabits per second it's got antennas pre-wired into it that go to the back of the board which I can show you in just a bit you've got two DDR3 uh, ports here that have one side that pops open and one side that the dims slide into with support for up to DDR3000, a PCI Express 3.0 slot here, um, and they actually, MSI actually makes a special card that can be used on this that's about the same size as the ITX board. It is a GTX 760, so that you can fit this into a nice small system. I did test this with a full-size card, so a full-size card does fit on the board without issue. You've got solid ferrite chokes here um, for, again, for the power VRM, and an audio boost chip for that goes along with the Realtek audio chipset. On the rear I.O. of the panel, you've got two USB 2.0. 0 ports and a PS2 slot that can be used, display port, HDMI and optical out, DVI connection, your two antenna connections, four USB 3.0 ports and an eSATA port, as well as the Killer E2205 gigabit LAN and 7.1 channel audio. So you definitely get a lot of features here with this board in a very compact package 17 centimeters by 17 centimeters so you can fit this in a small form factor system and build a good gaming system that you can use on your big screen TV or if for example you wanted to build a Steam OS box for some reason this would be a good starting point for it let's look at the back a little bit just just to show you that um, You've got screws here for the heat sinks, and you've also got a nice supported socket here for the LGA 1150 socket. Some other things to keep in mind is that the SATA ports do support RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10 through the Intel chipset. It does use the Z87 chipset, as the you know model indicates, and you have resolutions up to 4096 by 2160 at 24 Hertz or 2160 
by 1600 at 60 Hertz. Of course, you can run the typical 1920 by 1080p uh, connections off the HDMI port, DVI, or display port without issue as well. So let's take a look at the benchmarks, and then I'll show you some of the accessories that this board comes with. I hope you all enjoyed this overview and benchmarks for the MSI Z87i Gaming AC motherboard. Um, as you can see, it's, it's so small. The, small. the small form factor is great for putting next to your television uh, or something like that for using gaming on the biggest screen in your house. Uh, if you want to put a i5 or i7 chip in it, it's definitely worth it because it's a high quality board and it um, has all the gaming features that you might want on it. So it's good for gaming or HTPC use or anything along those lines. So definitely check out the full review at www.hightechlegion.com. And also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Take care.